next in the list is called Bellroyd. Let's skip our category. Oh, it has a category on Twitch. And it has eight people following and two people currently watching. Uh, Twitch, no, hello. Save, save, there we go, that's better. Let's click the play button and see what happens. It's safe to stay in games and demos. It is, but it's um, less discoverable. And when you change category, your VOD gets cut into chapters, which is, I think, nice. So if the category exists, I'm going to use it just to cut the VOD up. You get the chapter waypoints in it, markers, whatever they're called. Game is opening. That's better than some I've had in the past. No noise yet. No. You wouldn't care personally. I don't think it doesn't really matter. I, just, I think I'd like to have it. Even if I want to go back to the VOD later and I can then jump between the different games in case I want to change my mind about one or we find one that's on the fence. Risk of high quality games to spend five minutes on max. Yeah. Yeah. Still loading. If there are other people already streaming and watching it, the game or the demo must work. Just a long load time. Ooh, there we go. We're in. There's music. It's the work. Uh, you, you're overestimating some devs there. I'm not sure all of them have checked their demo works before uploading it for Nextfest, based on what I've experienced in the past. <laughs> uh, we are capturing as well on OBS. Nice. Okay. What options do I have? Oh, wow, look at these options. We're borderless, which is good. We don't have VSync, that's good. Field of view can be changed. Sure. There's quality settings. Seemed fine, I'm not going to fiddle. The language, the health bars. The sound defaults to maximum and is not that loud. Okay. I will probably mention this over and over again, looking at all this, but... Um, why would you default to the loudest you can possibly be? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. You should default to the middle so people can adjust. And if the loudest you can possibly be is, like, not that loud... Yeah. But, I'm, like, I never really hold that against a game because everyone does that. Uh, sensitivity, okay. It has a nice amount of options. I don't know what most of these are about, but... I mean, Bellright, what's it going to be? I mean, it's, yeah, going medieval. Yeah, it, it's, um, I've seen that, pictures of that. It looks similar. What if the middle is too quiet and people don't hear anything and don't know that there is an option to change it? Yeah, sure. I don't know, is, isn't opening the options menus like the first thing you do when you get a new game? That's what I do. Oh, wow. Character creation. What are we going to look like? Oh, wow. Look at this. Different face shapes. Make a Shrek. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I only have preset faces from the looks of it. So that's kind of... Shrekish. I'm not sure I know what Shrek looks like, actually. Just green is all. That's their hair. Three options. I mean, it's only a demo. They can't have all of the hair options in. Oh, there you go. Nice patchy beard. Yeah, there you go. 
good. And scraggly hair. Mm. That's a bit too clean and neat for these. The background looks quite medieval. A bit too fancy though. Mm. Let's go with this one. I am ready. You meant medieval dynasty. Oh, it's not... I know it's one of those dynasty games, but is going medieval not the same thing? I thought it was. Maybe not. Is one of them uh, like a town builder? It's a kind of both town builders in a way. Loading map. I think Medieval is more of a top-down builder, okay. And Medieval Dynasty is your third-person dynasty game, of which there are many. I saw um, Wild West Dynasty has got some pretty awful reviews. It's like, just, it's another dynasty game. Incomplete and thrown out before it's ready. Long ago, the legend of the bell right echoed the cinematic. Oh, they're spoiling us. None told the tale as you are about to hear it. In the woods, one fateful day, the royal twins set out for a hunt. Tragedy struck when an errant arrow claimed the life of the young prince. Our hero, a mere child, witnessed this fateful act. But the princess caught sight of our hero in the woods and accused the innocent child of the deed, casting false blame for her brother's demise. Our hero informed their father about the situation, sensing the danger that was to come. The father warned the people of the impending storm. Enraged by his son's death, the king ordered the execution of every That's child resembling enraged was uh, yeah fear and rebellion like you say like a like subjects. a movie trailer thanks to the father's foresight a triumphant uprising flourished safeguarding children's lives the father along with a butcher and a shepherd emerged as leaders forging an unbreakable alliance yet betrayal tainted their unity leading to an ambush where the father fell. A stranger saved our hero, whisking them away to the borders of the kingdom. It's like there, an intro to a sequel their father's where all this happened in the first game. It's way too much of a lore dump. With the alliance shattered, the kingdom entered a dark era. The vengeful king unleashed his fury on his own people, imprisoning and tormenting those who dare to rise against him. Years passed, and upon the king's Yuri, demise, yeah. the princess ascended <laughs> to the throne. But danger still loomed, and an assassin targeted our hero. And now is an assassin in their new life, defeating the would-be killer. Our hero discovered a no contract, reason. not naming them as the target. But their father. We no forgot what happened after the prince was killed in the woods. Uh, the princess pointed at us. On a perilous journey, returning to their origins to unravel the mystery. But yeah, no, like this is with this is really good voice right acting, them, but a really bad a script, you know. <laughs> driven by destiny and bound by a legacy yet to it's be It's a unveiled. game we should we should be playing right now, not sitting through just. The slideshow of stuff we don't care about. Space it between tutorials, sure, or just just put it in a book in the game, and then we can choose whether we read the book or ignore it. And you know, we all just ignore those books for a reason. So, like, if we ignore the law books, don't shove them in our face. Instead, just we don't need them. It's not necessary. Okay. It's not bad. There's a bit of a bit of a lag on the input. It's not awful though. Game is kind of pretty. I mean, the top of those mountains, not the distant snowy ones, but the ones in front of them. Not not a good scene there, but still. The 
lowlands are the poorest of the five regions. Okay. Sure. There was a tragedy. Yeah, we heard all about that. Great. Meet the locals. So after all of that introduction, it's not telling me, like, how do I move? How do I manipulate the camera? How do I find Dobron Yorklin the Elder? It, it's just, you know, now we're in the game. No information. I've got buttons in the top left that I can press to open various things. It's pretty good. I've got a stomach, a health, and a green bar. Stamina, maybe. I've got a mini-map with an exclamation mark on it, and you know, I know what that means. I think the majority of people know what that means, but... still. Here we are, in the village of... Handeen? Handeen? Just some random cloth here. A man? He's a bit quiet, but he is voice acted. Can I... I can't turn the volume up. It's at maximum. I can turn the music down. Okay. A goat? Sure. Once there was a hunting, and they saw strange animals. It looked like oversized dog, and it walked like human. I am gonna turn music down so I can try and hear what they're saying a bit better. Will you? No, you're Oscar Lancelot, the bookseller. But you've got an exclamation mark. Dobron Yorklin. I'm looking for somewhere to stay in the lowlands. I have some business to take care of. I swear I'm not an enemy. What do you want me to do? Uh, blah, 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 build a shack, okay. H how, <laughs> how do I do that? Uh, is there co-op? I don't think so. Let me check game tags. Online co-op. Although, um to bear in mind that the page is not for the demo, the page is for the finished game. So they're saying that it's going to have online co-op in the finished game. That doesn't necessarily mean it's in this demo. I don't see an option for it. And I can't... Yeah, I can't invite someone to join me. So I doubt it. <laughs> you can tell it's made by a Polish team because of the voice acting. I don't... It, yeah. It's just a similar style, isn't it? These games where you, like, the third person run around and build yourself a shack, it, it, they're always a bit... Either the writing or the voice acting is just a bit... Yeah. There's a, there's a question mark here. Okay. Hello. The bookseller. Quest? Uh, explore? Shrines? Sure. I'll find the shrine. Gain some trust in the... Interesting. Interesting. Trust from the village. Sure. Uh, the knowledge keeper? Can you point me towards... No one? Sure. I'm sure he can do that. What's this guy? A merchant? Do you have a quest? No. What do you have in stock? Carpenter's hammer. Sure. I mean, I guess that's kind of what we're after for constructing with, maybe? But I don't have 30 gold. I have no gold. Can I sell the shirt off my back? Oh, 
Ah, oh, no, he doesn't buy shirts off my back. He buys these things. Okay. So I need to get some money so I can get a hammer to build my shack with. Need a tool to cut the tree. Hello there. You don't have a quest. Okay. So what about... It's my quest journal. Is that this one? No, that's a codex. That's a journal. Track my ancient shrine. The minimap points the direction that your ca uh, your character is looking, not your camera, which is a bit disorienting. What you were saying? There are 400 game companies in Poland now. Yeah, there's loads. A lot of Polish-made games, and a lot of them a bit like this, I'm sure, but some of them good. Oh, look at that. I can very slowly mantle this stone wall. <laughs> can I not? So I can jump, you know, in the usual fashion. But if you jump too close to the wall, you mantle it instead. Okay. It's This isn't a bad game. It, it's been put together pretty well. It's good looking. It's got controls and movement and voice acting and... Yeah, cinematic, but it's, you know, not well polished at all. There we go. There's a shrine. Good. Go back. Okay. Run here and run back. Usual MMO type questing. The Wikipedia page for video games from Poland doesn't have a Polish version. Yeah. You're not so proud of them, maybe. <laughs> oh, that is stamina. Yeah, if I sprint, then it goes down. Short. Sure. Usual stuff. Uh, regarding the shrines. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to click buttons. I gained a knowledge book. Expand my own skills or those of my settlers? Okay, so do I like build a little village with people in at some point? What do I do? Here they are, my knowledge books. Uh, doing that just drops it on the floor. Okay. Uh, what does this screen have? Some attributes. Can I increase my one-handed skill? I can. Ah, uh, did that cost me two books? It did. Right. So each book lets you click plus one on one of these, uh, which can't be undone. Yeah, can't be undone. Oops. Oh well. Uh, I still didn't get any money for doing that. So in terms of my quest that says build a shack, uh, I'm I'm lost. Yeah. Gather what I need and build a shelter, so I won't have to sleep on the ground. I know people are generally against hand holding, but you need a bit more guidance than just. Gather the things you need. Can't can't harvest a sapling. It belongs to that village. Okay. Can't cut that. I need a tool. That also belongs to the village. Right. So, so what do I do? I mean, there's a question mark here again. Do I just have to keep following the question marks over and over? Sure. What can I do for you? Got another quest? Waiting for a merchant to deliver, check the roads. Off I go. Track that. 
Dark Souls of Village Building. <laughs> it's a shame, really, because actually, in a way, I kind of like this. It, it's looking good. The UI is pretty good, really. It's just... Too much time spent on story and not enough on guiding me where I'm supposed to be doing. And if it is, just, just keep doing the question mark and follow the exclamation mark and so on, then fair enough, but telling me that at least once would be nice. Bunny hopping doesn't seem to help your speed. Some pretty bad lag loading the world in there. Signpost? With nothing written on it? Sure. I guess. Aha. Bandits. Uh, okay. So now we run into another problem. Ah. Uh, hello? Buttons? Anything? No? No idea. <laughs> I guess you die, yeah, yeah, good point. I guess I guess that's what happens there. And then you respawn back where we came into the world. <laughs> so if you were playing a third person game and bandits started attacking you, what would you do? Me, I'd left click. That's that's what I tried. Nothing there. Right click, scrolling, number keys in case they equip something. Uh, maybe in my inventory I need. Do I have to have a weapon first? But I, I can't afford a weapon. And the exclamation mark told me to go over there. Do you, um. Hit every key? Do we go to the options, controls? Thumb mouse button 2. I don't have a thumb mouse button 2, so we're going to need to rebind that. Ah, that's their name for middle mouse button. Okay, I've got a middle mouse button. Harvest is a left click. Interact is F. Weapon slots. Auto run. Army command. Okay, so the game sounds interesting. It just currently is missing some of the fundamentals. Um... Clearly have instructions, find the merchant. Find the missing merchant card. And you follow the exclamation mark to get there. Oh, it's raining. It's a shame. There is a, a good game to be made. This is better than the Dynasty games. I, you know, I think. As far as my personal opinion goes. Regarding the merchant, uh, I got murdered trying to get to him. Um... As bandits, can you lend me a sword? Can you lend me a sword? Regarding the shack. Can I stay in the village? No. Okay. Regarding the shack. Nothing. Uh, do you have a quest? No. Does anyone have a sword I could use? Um, or steel? Nope. Is it better than Valheim? Um, visually, I think so, but gameplay-wise, I don't think so. Can I milk a cow? Mm, not yet. Let's try again. I don't appear to have any other quest other than go and do this. The only instruction he's got is to do this, unless... Uh, missing merchant. Yeah, no description. No, like, before you do this, pick up a sword from Bill. Oh, they don't own this sapling. I can take this one. And I've got some wood. Okay. Not sure that helps me, yet. 
What about this pile of sticks? That also gave me a wood. Okay, I'm harvesting wood. Do I have a... A building menu? Uh, here we go. If I got five wood and three stone, I can make a campfire. If I got twelve wood and eight blacks, I could make a shack. Flax. Where am I going to find flax? Do I have a map? So I'm just moving into the region, but I already know exactly what it looks like. Handy. Bandits. Brigands. Quests. Hermits. Interesting. More bandits. No flags. Sure. Deadwood also gets me wood, I assume. Me twelve. And I've got five. Oh, a mushroom. How oh, lovely. Is it is it poisonous? Should we find out? Seems okay. I'm not not being sick. stone but yeah I can't mine it yet that does make some sense so that's buildings well can I can I craft a pick or a no guess not so attributes inventory codex what's why notification okay where would I find a field of flanks that isn't already owned by that village. I guess not next to the village. Out in the wild, in the woods. A stone, some saplings. Oh, no, that's not flags. Stumps. Very close to the giving up on it stage. It's all stone, that's all wood. Imagine it being in among the trees, I think out, out in a field somewhere. Oh, hello, a rabbit. Don't want to pick a fight, it'll probably beat me. Ah, and that. Is a bandit camp that way. And there, sure. Let's avoid them. Is that a dog? Oh, it's a wolf. Yeah, let's run away from him because he's going to win that fight as well. <coughs> That's not harvestable. Those bad guys? They, they kind of look like bad guys. I'm going to say they're bad guys. Oh. Rabbit's a bandit scout. Yeah. Wouldn't blame me for giving up, but it, it... There's something here in the game. It's like... I don't think it's quite ready for next fest, but it's... It's got an okay foundation for, for making what they're trying to make. They just kind of need to hold your hand a, a bit more than this. I'm not saying they have to have to hold your hand the whole way, but a, but a bit more would make the game more accessible. Janky fun, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not too janky. It is a bit. What's this? I saw a little circle. Where's the circle gone? No. Maybe I was imagining it, and there wasn't a little circle just then. Is it here? I thought it was these plants. Nope, you must have been imagining. None of these. Oh, hello. 
What are these? This is flax. Okay. We're getting somewhere. How much flax did I need? Eight. Oh, that's sage. Okay. Enough. The flax. There we go. Six. Is there any more? Yep, yeah, bit there. There we go. My inventory is full. Well, helpful that I've got all I needed then. Let me place my shack. Uh, what do you mean zero out of twelve wood? Oh, I, I place it and then I put the wood on it, I guess. Uh, where do we even want this? I don't want to be near the bandits. How about on the, the little junction in the road just down from the village? That's here. That's going to be safe, right? Oh, that's too close, but here is okay. Uh, what do I do? Rotate with the mouse wheel? Sure. Place. Okay. Oh, that's the... Okay. It has a spot for a campfire next to it. Wait, no. Have I just built the wrong thing? I have. Have I? Shack. Right, I built the wrong thing. Uh, this can't go, the, the ground is too uneven. Oh, no. I'm trying to build it on top of myself, that's the problem. It's the same controls as all the games like this. It's not awful. It's not great. How's that? And now I just click. Hey, this is pretty good. The way these things come dropping in, bit by bit. This is pretty good. I like this. I mean, I'm now just kind of left-clicking and my character's doing silly things. There's maybe a, a few too many clicks, but it's a nice system, actually. You get to see it kind of taking shape and coming together step by step. It's kind of nice. Curious what happens if I'm like stood half in, half out when it finishes. I get teleported away. Makes sense. Okay, I have a shack. Did I have, I had a quest to do that. Wait until tomorrow and check in with the village guy. Okay, we're learning. Came with a free workbench. Where with a bit of wood, I can make a primitive club. Slowly. <laughs> okay, inventory management, very nice. Put that in my weapons. Get my club out. Now I can club people. Okay. Put my club away. Sure. It's making some sense. I've got a stash. I can sleep if it's night time. Uh, so I can give wood to the campfire, but we need some stone, which didn't look like we could get yet. Without a like a pickaxe or something, can I make a pickaxe? Can make a simple axe. Cuts wood. Can be a weapon, not stone. Okay.
I'm not going to grind out too much further. We just want to see how this club does against a couple bandits. And then we'll move on. But this is, like I say, I think this is better than the Dynasty games. But this could be worth watching. Let's see how it ends up. Or if he just stays janky as hell forever. They're, they're in a fight. Who's killing those bandits? Are these good guys? They look like bad guys. But they're not red dots on my map. Hello? This is... Ethan? And uh, put your weapon away to talk. Hold it right there, traveller. Okay. They're not bad guys. And they've killed the guys I was coming to kill, so... I guess they saved me an effort. I can get stone from those pebbles. Ah, helpful. Uh, this guy had some apples and some coins. Reinforced club. Oh, we'll have that. Sure. Cart tools. Have I finished that quest then? Yes, I finished that quest. Okay. Didn't actually have to fight them in the end, just had to wait for a patrol of uh, non-hostile enemies to walk past. And there's more patches of sage and flax around the place. Okay. Maybe I should have just used my brain a bit more instead of complaining. We could have found our way. These are the villagers, cows. Can I smash them with a club? Oh, I can. Does that annoy them? Great ragdolling. And despawning. What's going on? This is my buildings list. Okay, that's on tab. Now we just disappeared. I didn't get any meat or leather or anything. Oh, but now everyone hates me because I killed a cow. That makes sense. I could see why. So what happens now? Um, <laughs> he falls over. I respawn on top of my shack and slide off. Legolas style. Sure. And that village now hates me forever and I can't recover, I assume. Oh, my gear's up there. I guess I can re recover my gear. But yeah, they still hate me, so... I'm not sure how you would fix that relationship. Oh, is that... It's not my gear, that's his gear. Okay. It's in interesting. I think we've seen what the game has to offer, and I've drawn whatever conclusion I can make, but that's... It's kind of better than I expected, I guess. It is janky as hell, but it could end up being a reasonably okay game. Maybe on par with Valheim, especially if they do get um, co-op set up. Could be alright. With his character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a save game to restore the weave of fate. Yeah. Do you want to watch the intro cinematic again? <laughs> Not a bad one. I think... Uh, what are we going to do with that one? Well... I think we're going to give it a follow. Follow. There we go. And then we'll uninstall the demo. Uh, 